welcome back to Easy Social. In the previous video, we learned how to get access to WhatsApp Cloud API. And in this video, we will learn how to connect WhatsApp Cloud API with your Easy Social account. Open app.easysocial.io. Here you can log in with your credentials. Once you're logged in, you will see a screen which is prompting you to link your WhatsApp Cloud API with Easy Social account. So now you can click on Link WhatsApp Cloud API. Now this takes you to the WhatsApp settings page. Now in a new tab, open developers.facebook.com. On this page, go to My Apps. You will see My Apps icon only if you're logged in. So if you're not logged in, please do log in and then click on My Apps. Now click on the app where you got access for WhatsApp Cloud API. And here on the left side, there's a menu called WhatsApp. Click on that and then go to Getting Started. Now here you can see there is a phone number ID written here, which is quite a long number. <coughs> And right in front of it, there is a copy button. Now click on this copy button and go back to the previous tab. Here you have to paste the phone number ID. Now go back to this tab. And here you can see WhatsApp business account ID. You can copy this ID by clicking on this icon here. Go back to the previous tab and paste WABA ID right here. Again, let's go back to the same tab. Here on the top, you can see there is an app ID. Click on the number and it will automatically get copied. Now you can paste this app ID right here. And in this section, you have to enter your WhatsApp number. So in case you don't want to type it, you can just copy your number here and paste it right here. Now we will have to open business.facebook.com in a new tab. On this page, click on the top left drop down menu, followed by the gear icon next to the business you created. Now click on business settings. Here you can see there is this user section on the top left. Click on system users. Here we'll have to create an admin user. You can do so by simply clicking on add here and then you can write the name of the user and also then assign him the admin role. And then click on create system user. Once your admin system user is created and then click on add assets. We have to scroll down to apps and click on the app that we used to create WhatsApp Cloud API. We will check all of these options and hit save changes. Now this asset has been added. Moving on to the final step, we have to click on generate new token. Here you have to select an app. Now scroll down. Here you have to ensure business management, WhatsApp business messaging and WhatsApp business management. These three permissions are clicked and then you have to click on generate token. All right, so this token is generated. We have to simply copy this token and then go back to the first tab and paste this token here and then hit save. Now, as soon as you hit save, it generates a callback URL and another access token. Now this compact URL has to be pasted back on the Meta app. So we will go back to our Meta app. This time on the left menu under WhatsApp, we will click on configuration. Now under the webhook option, we will click edit. Here we have to paste the callback URL. So we will go back to our settings. We will copy this callback URL by clicking on this icon and go back here and paste this URL here. Now similarly, we have to copy the token and paste it back here. 
Once this is pasted, we have to click on verify and save. Okay, so this callback URL has been accepted. Now simply click on manage and subscribe to all the possible options. Now double check all the subscriptions and hit done. Okay, so after setting up the webhooks, we need to make this app live. So for that, we need to go to the settings menu on the left side, click on basic. On this page, we need to add a privacy policy URL. So I will just open our website and I'll scroll to the bottom and click on privacy policy. So this is the URL, I'll just copy this URL and I'll paste it here. So in case you do not have a privacy policy page on your website, it is really essential for you to have this page. Otherwise you will not be able to make the app live. And if you're struggling to get the content for privacy policy page, then please don't worry, it is very easy. What you need to do is just go to another tab and search for privacy policy generator. So you're going to get a bunch of URLs here. You can click on any of these and here you can actually feed your company details and this website will automatically generate privacy policy content for you which you can actually use on your website and create a new page okay now coming back to our app click on save changes now on the top you can see there is an app mode setting here you have to click on this toggle button to make the app live okay so our app is live and now it can be flawlessly used with easy social. Let's go back to WhatsApp settings and now we will click on test connection. So as you can see, now the connection has been established and WhatsApp Cloud API is successfully connected with easy social. All right. So in this video, we learned how to establish a connection between easy social and WhatsApp Cloud API. I hope it was informative. Thank you for your time and see you in the next video.